Hi, my name is Sushi. Everyone knows that sometimes ammonia can build up in tanks and make us fish smell bad, but what they don't know is that it can happen in my body too. I have a carbamoyl phosphate synthetase deficiency. It causes hyperammonemia, which is buildup of ammonia in my blood, and this can be very toxic to my brain. I'll let you hear more from the expert. Infants with this deficiency often show signs of hyperammonemia that are caused by swelling of the brain. These include lethargy, loss of appetite, vomiting after feeding, unregulated respiration rate and temperature, abnormal body movements, seizures, or coma. Individuals who survive beyond infancy often experience these symptoms again if their diet is not carefully regulated. In more serious cases, neurological abnormalities may occur. CPS1 is a heterodimer with a small subunit and a larger subunit, although in mammals and other vertebrates, the CPS1 protein is encoded by a single gene. The small subunit contains one active site for the binding and deamination of glutamine to make ammonia and glutamate. The large subunit contains two active sites, one for the production of carboxyphosphate and the other for the production of carbamoyl phosphate. Carbamoyl phosphate synthetase is an irreversible enzyme and has three main steps in its reaction mechanism. In order to create carboxyl phosphate, a bicarbonate ion is phosphorylated with ATP. Carbamic acid is formed after the carboxyl phosphate reacts with ammonia, and inorganic phosphate is released. Carbamoyl phosphate is created when a second molecule of ATP is able to phosphorylate carbamic acid, thus completing the reaction. This deficiency has an autosomal recessive pattern of inheritance, which means that the mutation is found in both copies of the gene. It is caused by mutations in the CPS1 gene. These mutations result in production of an abnormal CPS enzyme, which mediates the normal path for incorporation of ammonia in the urea cycle. So ammonia is therefore accumulated in the bloodstream. Deficiency of CPS1 enzyme interrupts the first metabolic step of the urea cycle, which occurs within the mitochondrial matrix of hepatic cells. Patients unable to produce the carbamoyl phosphate product may experience stroke-like weakness known as hemiparesis on one side of their body. A rise in lactate and glutamine levels at the site of infarction may be observed. Treatment for CPS deficiency is very complex and requires patients to speak with a specialist who is experienced in the care of the urea cycle. Patients can be prescribed FDA-approved drug glycerol phenyl butyrate, a drug used as a nitrogen-binding therapy for chronic management for both adults and pediatric patients. To treat this rare disease, this oral liquid treatment on average annual drug cost is $55,000 to $239,000 a year.